The head of the United Nations mission in South Sudan and special representative of the Secretary General has called for peace to allow displaced people to return to their homes. David Shearer, who was on a two-day visit to Bentu and Lea in Unity area, visited a United Nations Protection of Civilian site, sheltering more than 100,000 civilians in Bentu. Shira said peace is needed to move the country forward. Unfortunately, it, it, it's not getting any better by the, by the look of it. We've got operations and, and, and fighting both in the south and unfortunately in, up in the Upper Nile state as well. Um, we need a peace agreement. Uh, we need peace. That is the most fundamental element that's missing in South Sudan. And when that happens, then you'll be able to start creating the conditions for people who, are, who have fled their homes to go back, start their livelihoods, start their farms and start uh, grazing their cattle. Uh, and we get peace in, 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 in Sudan and people, South Sudan and people can, uh, can go about their ordinary lives. We don't have that at the moment. So we're here to help the South Sudanese people uh, and the citizens of South Sudan. But until there's peace, uh, we're struggling. Bentu and Lea are two towns which have been amongst the most affected by the country's conflict. Speaking in Bentu, a displaced woman said she yearned for peace. If the United Nations can convince the government to implement the peace and silence the guns, we are going to go home because for us, we are afraid of our lives. While in Bentu, Shira met state government officials as well as internally displaced people who are living in the largest protection of civilian site in the country. We shed light on uh, many aspects of the uh, uh, unmismanded in South Sudan regarding the, the boasting of peace and uh, giving free access to the NGOs to reach the, the needy people where they are. And uh, we also touch on the the challenges that uh, we are facing here. The governor pointed out some of the problems and the issues that they, they have here in terms of infrastructure. He was responsible for much of the infrastructure in, in, in previous years when he was governor and it's, uh, he was uh, especially seeking support on developing roads and some of the secondary roads. Um, but I also we, we looked at how it is that we can try and encourage people uh, give them the sense of physical security and the economic security to start moving back to their homes. Um, so we're going to be working closely together. I thanked him for our, uh, his cooperation in, in, in supporting Anmus's presence here. In Lear, he visited the mission's temporary operating base to assess Anmus's success in mounting robust patrols, which pushed the mission's presence deep into the field. Lear is a, is a difficult situation, it's seen some conflict in the past. Um, my encouragement was to the acting governor uh, who, as he just said, was in communication with I.O. by telephone to, to, to accelerate the uh, meeting of face-to-face -face, uh, dialogue with, with I.O. Uh, this, cannot, this situation here cannot be resolved by, by conflict, it can only re be resolved by, by negotiation and discussion. Uh, once that happens, then I think the, uh, the humanitarian organisations might feel more comfortable about coming back when they know there's, when there's no this peace. So anything that uh, UNMIS can do, uh, we're, we're willing to, to do and to help, help that process. He held discussions with local officials and also took the opportunity to travel to an opposition-controlled area to listen to opinions on how to facilitate humanitarian assistance and advance the peace process. The local opposition told the head of ANMIS that they support the current localized cessation of hostilities and remain in a defensive position which they hope will encourage the return of humanitarian agencies to Lea. Both the local authorities and the opposition praised the United Nations for its efforts to facilitate communications between them. Shira heard that they both recognize that an inclusive national dialogue will assist the peace process.